Antimicrobial resistance is a pretty big problem in Australia. It's associated with thousands of deaths a year and it's associated with nearly 5 million deaths a year globally. So it's a really big global challenge. The superbugs are strains of bacteria, viruses, parasites or fungi that are resistant to antibiotics or the other common medications that we use to treat them. And as a result of that, superbugs can become quite difficult or even impossible to treat. The phenomenon through which more and more superbugs are emerging is known as antimicrobial resistance. There are two main ways that resistance develops in these superbugs. The first is as we use antibiotics more and more, some of the pathogens will, just due to evolution, develop mutations that help them evade the antibiotics that we're using to treat them. And those strains of pathogens that are able to mutate and avoid the antibiotics, because they have an evolutionary advantage, they will proliferate and these superbugs will emerge in the environment. The other mechanism through which resistance develops is known as horizontal gene transfer particularly in hospitals where there's lots of bacteria and viruses about, genetic information can transfer or hop from one bacteria to another. And as a result of that, you can have the emergence of these superbugs. One example of a superbug which we're seeing develop more and more is drug-resistant E. coli. So E. coli is one of the most common cause of urinary tract infections, which we see a lot, particularly in older patients from nursing homes. In the most recent report from the Australian government in 2021, we know that a number and the vast majority of treatments that we're using for that particular strain of E. coli are no longer working. There are a number of ways that we can prevent antimicrobial resistance. On an individual level, we can all practice good infection prevention and control, which are all the things we learned during COVID, washing our hands, making sure that we wear a mask if we're feeling unwell. It's also making sure that we're only taking antibiotics when it's appropriate and not just because we think we might have a bacterial infection. In a world where antimicrobial resistance rises, we will struggle to treat a lot of the common infections that we see in the community, but particularly in the hospital. And that's a really worrying thing because antibiotics are kind of the cornerstone of modern medicine. Our ability to treat infections would be limited, but patients with chronic diseases, patients who might be immunosuppressed because say they're having chemotherapy or say they've had a transplant, it would make it a lot more difficult to treat them. So it's really important that we safeguard the antibiotics that we do have because otherwise modern medicine really will struggle to keep up.